One of the funny things was uh, starting a truck. You start a truck, it doesn't start. And uh, I, I remember in, the, in my experience, three times in my life I made the stupidest mistakes ever. I try to start the truck, it doesn't start. I call service, they come and they start the truck right away. I get embarrassed sometimes when you make something like of that nature and uh, the first time I made the same mistake, I tried to start the truck, it did not start. It was like this truck. This truck had a 10 gear manual. And uh, the first time, I should have not learned it now, if the, this truck don't start unless you push the uh, pedal, the clutch. The second time I made the same mistake, I called the road surface and it was a clutch. I did not press the clutch. The last time, the third time was a funny one. I called the road surface because I thought the battery did not was... I, I think I, I don't remember. I, it was an automatic. It was a Volvo. I did not, did not have a clutch. But... The mistakes that I made, the truck was already in drive. You cannot start the truck unless it is in neutral or it's automatic. Those are the three mistakes I made. But here, when the, with this kind of trucks, first you make sure sure this is the switch. This is a power switch, that, the battery saving switch. You make sure it is on. This is off. This is on. If it is not on, you have no power. Second thing, you can... Can I start it while I'm, while I'm under, away from the manual? I think you can. This truck, you can. If you, if you start it for me, it will start. Why, why? Let, let us see. It did start. Why? Because that, because the, the shifter is in neutral. If the, if the shifter is in gear, it will never start. Something else to remember, let us turn it off. Let me just show you uh, a piece of information that is very important. A lot of people don't realize it. This is the off position. You can take the key here, off. This is the off position, right? This is the on. This is the bad key, but I can take it out and switch it. This is, come on, Barry. This is the on position. The on position means the gauges will, will have power. The gauges will have power. Look at that, when I turn it off again, look at the gauges. I, I'm going to turn it off. Now all the gauges will be dark because it is off. When you turn it on, the truck did not start, but you got power in the circuits. It did not start, but look at the position of the key. This is the position of on. What are the lights outside look like? You have no power here. You have no power here. So when the, when the ignition, when the the key is on position, nobody outside will see anything unless you turn the light on. If you turn that light on, you are going to have outside lighting. If you turn it on like that, you are going to have light outside, right here. You have light right here. You have light in the front, only in the marker. Only in the marker. The marker right here and the marker on the top. So when you turn it on, and they turn the light on, but not high beam, no low beam. You will have only markers. Markers means, this is markers. Means, you're telling the people that there is somebody in the truck, but it is not running. That is what is called on. Here is the piece of information I wanted to tell you. When you turn it in ignition, it will go, it will start to the truck, but it will come back to this position. That is where people get confused. A lot of people don't realize that. Especially the most notorious are women. 
and the people who are not interested in engineering or technical stuff, they don't really look at that. When I turn it into the ignition, I have to turn it and hold it to the back. It will come back. Why it came back? Let me turn it off and it's a little to you. It asking me, give me a warning, it's telling me the light is off, is on. Here I need to turn it off. It is gone. The warning is gone. Here is what you need to remember. When you put it in ignition, it is the same situation like putting it, it here is the on. When you put it in ignition, you are pushing it to the end, it will come back automatically to this position, but you are going to have the starter kicking, and the engine is going to start. Why did it come back to the on position? The ignition is a transient situation, where, where you start, where you activate the solenoid of the starter, and it trigger the fuse box, all the relays in the fuse box to activate the circuit or to, to send the juice, the electrical current to all the circuits that govern the truck. You have about five or six circuits. You have the uh, ignition circuit, you have the lightning circuit, you have the computer circuit, you have the internal lightning circuit, you have the signaling circuits. Uh, all these circuits, each one of them is controlled by, by a relay. The relay is a magnetic device, a cube, like a small box sitting under under the hood. No, no bigger than the head of this uh, of this uh, bottle or or this hammer. That relay you have about five or six relays or maybe three relays. Each relay has an uh, electromagnet. So when you push that key to the end to uh, to uh, ignite to start the ignition that only does trigger all the relays to shut to uh, to shut the circuits or connect the circuits once the circuits are connected that key have to come back to its own position its own position you need to start the track you start the ignition you activated all the circuits all the electric circuits then it come back to the on position. But that on position was when you ignited the relays and ignited the engine and you started the track. Let us start the track now and I will show you where the relays are. Start the track. Here. You have to turn it off. It's very noisy. Just turn it off. Because this is a truck. The fuse box here, it is a split. A fuse box under the hood and the fuse box inside the hood. Can I open any fuse box here? Yes. One here. One here at the bottom. One here. And the three fuse boxes here. Let me just open one of them. I need to get my gloves. I need to show you. Damn it. Damn it. That spoiled my fun. No, you cannot open it unless you have to remove that screw. You have to unscrew it. You have to have a wrench. You have to remove that screw and you have to remove that screw. So I cannot open any of this without using a wrench. I can do it, but not. I want to just show you a very quick idea what a relay is. A relay is, I might be able to show you a relay inside the truck. Those are, those relays control certain things, certain circuits, because uh, they try to make the truck simple. Can I open that relay? 
That box, the box looks easy to open, but I do not, I'm not going to mess with this, with this box. Let me show you another, because this box has, as you see, positive here, and the chassis of the computer is the negative, and it might have a, a computer right, right here. But let me, I haven't driven this truck for a long time. Yeah, yes, I think I, I can I? I need to show you a relay. Yes! We got it. We got it, baby, right here. We, we say, we say bull, right here. It's a bull. So we bully this one. We got it, right? Great. We bulled it, right? I needed to open that. This is a box that I need to open. This is a relay box. Can I open it? Yeah, say battery one, battery two. Can, I, can we open it? Well, I needed to show you. All these are, most of this stuff. No, I need to show a rail, rail relay. Can you open that one? Yes. It's cold, that's so why I do not. It's cold, so my fingers are not very. You are here. Beautiful. 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 That is beautiful. I want it. That did not spoil. spoil my day. Okay. Here is you have a circuit diagram. It tells you which, what component is what. You can stay here, you can have fun reading it. But I'll show you exactly what these components are. This is a relay. This is a relay, this is a relay, this is a relay, this is a relay. Each one of these relays is the three terminal components. If you look at very carefully right here, the three terminal components. One component is a ground, one component is a battery, right here, if you look at this circuit, right? And, uh, and you have a coil, this coil is a magnet. If you look at here, here is a magnet, uh, or a coil, and here is a resistance, and when you when you push the when you put the bottom on ignition, you send the current to here, here, here. All these relays, these relays activate the electromagnet. It closes the circuit. After that, you don't need the ignition key is in the far distant location. So each one of these relays controls the circuit. If you wanted to know which circuit you go here, you have these three ones here, and these two on the bottom and here are right here. You get one, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here you have one, two, three, four, five. Where is the six? The six is here is removed because they might not need it. That is a design. So you don't have this one here, but you have it here on the circuit. You have one here, one here, and it's empty here. So it's not a big deal. And you can follow this component, each one of this component in the diagram here. You can start from here, this one right here, and this one at the bottom. These two small ones here, this two small red ones, and so on. You can have fun here reading the, the, the fuse box. And the colors of this component, those are the, the fuses. Each color has it is written on it. For example, this one, I don't have my glasses. This one is, say, 10 amperes. Uh, this 30 amperes, right here, in the top. Those are reserve. These are reserve, spare. Those are spare. You can use them if you wanted to. They are not going. You can pull them. They are not going to hurt anybody. Here is uh, 25, 30, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, and that is a 2.5 ampere. You can take this one here and replace whatever is missing in the fuse uh, box. That is all I wanted to tell you about how to uh, the three position of. The, the key. The, let us close it. That's a piece of cake. We can now put that, that thing back and I am, I have to start as a beautiful nice day here in uh, Salt Lake.